cold outside, you might have to stop and get a warm drink. Don't stop at any coffee shop. Please come to Spike's Place. We got these $2 hot chocolates from Spike's Place. Mmm, so good. <laughs> Um, well, I have many, but I'm going to go with, I think it's called, I want to dance with somebody. <laughs> Can you sing it? Yeah. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, who am I here with today? Ava. Jada. And what is your favorite song? What's it called? What's it called? To die, with, die a with, with a smile. To die with a smile. Yeah. Can you sing it? Yes, of course. Of course. If, if the world was ending, I'd want to be next to you. That was really good. Thank you. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Who am I here with today? Jessica and Liberty. And what's your favorite song? You Might Everything by Sexy Red. <laughs> Can you sing it? Yeah. Bae, I love you. <laughs> you my everything. I'm, I'm your main. main. <laughs> the wedding ring. <laughs> Thank you. We Who am I here with today? Mrs. MP. And what is your favorite song? Well, my favorite show is Friends, and I watch it all the time, so my favorite song has to be Phoebe's Smelly Cat. Can you sing it? Yeah, an encore from the assembly, right? Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat. What are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. Thank you. <laughs> Who am I here with today? Aaron Bowser. Oh, what's your favorite song? I'd have to, I have a lot of favorites, but I love I Want You Back from the Jackson 5. Can you sing it for us? No, but I'll, I'll try. I want you back. <laughs> I want you back. Okay. Who am I here with today? Mrs. Gable. And what is your favorite song? My favorite song, I I don't have a favorite, but I'm going to, I'll do a song. You want me to sing it? Yeah. Go I'll do a, a song, okay? It's by Billy Joel. It's called Piano Man. I know everybody's heard it. Um, 1973, which is the year I was born, and it's, Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're not in a mood for a melody, but you've got us feeling all right. La da da diddy da. La da da diddy da da. Now. Who am I here with today? Oh, Gracie Martin. <laughs> Gracie, what's your favorite song? Um, I don't know. I, I don't I, know is not an acceptable I answer. Know I, was getting put, I didn't know I was getting interviewed here. Oh, I didn't either. <laughs> so aren't we evil? Okay, forget. <laughs> Who am I here with today? With Mr. Mock. And what's your favorite song? Uh, one Man Band. I like a lot of them. Uh, but that one I like. Uh, it's sung by Old Dominion. And can you sing it? Sure. Now... I'm going to have to apologize. I have a bit of a head cold, so I don't normally sound like this. Usually when I sing, all these cats from the neighborhood come crawling to my house. I don't know why. I don't know if that's good or bad. But are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Right. I don't want to be a one-man band. I don't want to be a rolling stone alone, putting miles on a run-down band. Baby, we can take our own show on the road. You lay down the beat. I'll carry the tune. Production. Welcome back to Basketball Trick Shots. We are the Ball Boys. Carson Weitzel. Wesley Graber. Austin Sufren. I'm Bobby Morris. <laughs> this is the behind the back half court shot. 
This is the Bulldog special. Down. Wait, wait, wait. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> this is the theater kid shot. This is the cool kid shot. This is the WWE trick shot. This is the relay shot. This is the tramp shot. This is the five in a row. that are going to be scattered around the school. Um, all you've got to do, if you find one, take it down to Mrs. Ray in the Media Center and you may get a little surprise. Oh, you have a ribbon? All you got to do is trade it in for a piece of candy. I'm Cheyenne, and who am I with? Mrs. Nagy. All right, Miss Nagy, what's your favorite song? I love Disturbed Break Stuff. Bye. Disturbed. Oh. All right. Um, I'm Cheyenne, and I'm with Mr. Johns. Would you like to tell me your favorite song? Uh, Bare Naked Ladies, If I Had a Million Dollars. Oh, thank you. You're <laughs> All right. I'm Cheyenne, and who am I with? Mr. Braun. And what's your favorite song? My favorite song is Brandy by Looking Glass. Okay, I'm Cheyenne, and who am I with? A Lily Luntz. Um, what's your favorite song? Um, Roses by Kanye West. It's Riz Class 101. Who am I here with? Uh, Peyton Stogler. And what's the best pickup line you've ever used on a girl and it worked? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I can use it on you real quick if that's good. Yeah, that's fine. All right. If I had to rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if I could change the letter in the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Who am I here with? Atlanta Conan. And what's a pickup line that you've used on a girl that works? Uh, are you Wi-Fi? Because I feel a connection. That's good, that's good. Hey lady, are you Data? Because I feel a connection. Please stop. <laughs> okay. Who am I here with? Alika Bridge. And what's a good pickup line you've used on? <laughs> um, uh, I lost my number, can I borrow yours? Okay, well, all right, thank you. You're welcome. Hey lady, I just lost my number and I was wondering if I could get yours. <laughs> Who am I here with? Nick Morris. And what's the best pickup line you've ever used that worked on a girl? Um, you're so sweet, you give me a toothache looking at you. Thank you. All right. Hey lady, you're so sweet, every time I look at you, I get a toothache. <laughs> Who am I here with? Brody. And what's the best pickup line you've ever used that's worked on a girl? Do you have a map? Because I just got lost in your eyes. <laughs> All right, that's good, that's good. Hey, lady, uh, are you a map? Because I just got lost in your eyes. No. <laughs> Whoa, ladies. Hey, do you believe in love at first sight, or do I have to yeah. walk by again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> not love at first sight. <laughs> hey, lady, are you a, a vegetable? Because you'd be a cucumber. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bulldog Beat. My name is Anthony Nuring. 
This week I'm doing another game review. Yes, I know. Kind of the only thing I do. This time I'm going to be doing it on COD Black Ops 6, the current open beta. Now, I've had a lot of changes since the last time I filmed this, so I'm just going to throw the script away. Um, yeah, take it. Can you throw it away for me out there? Thank you. All right, yeah, now, as I was saying, I've had a lot of changes, so the script's out the window. First off, main changes, the gunplay. Now, I've played with it quite a bit more than I have since last time, and honestly, pretty good. Gunplay's good. Feels smooth-ish. Feels real smooth for a beta, but the maps, it's been one of the big complaints. Honestly, since they've released the statement saying that those were just small maps, and that they'll be releasing larger ones, with release and then even larger ones than that later gives me hope that the maps will be better for like large scale multiplayer like um, Modern Warfare 3 was now onto one of the downfalls cheaters good things have happened though a lot of the cheaters that I've ran into personally they've been caught and they've been banned which is amazing, seeing as cheaters are a bane of a beta's existence. It can drive most of the people away from the game. All of that. But there still are some. Although rare, there's still some blatant cheaters. And uh, it's Activision, right? The producers of it, of the new uh, COD, are doing their hardest to try and catch them all. So we have hope. Now, off of multiplayer and onto the suspected other modes. We've already had two confirmed modes. We don't know if there's going to be. There might be a new war zone for it. But there's confirmed zombies. Although it's god awful compared to what it was. Every zombies, every new zombies is just like that. We all think it's god awful, and then after a little while of playing it on release, we realize, hey, not so bad. So, overall rating for a beta, 8 out of 10. But if we get gameplay produced like the beta currently is, it's going to be a 5 out of 10 max. So. Today I'm here with Tom, and he's going to tell us about how Japan was. So, how was school in Japan compared to the U.S.? Um, yeah, we start at like 8, 8.30 and then ends at 4, and then we have clubs, club sports, and it will be like 7 o'clock. So, it's pretty long. So, it's a lot different to wake up at 6 in the morning-ish? Yeah, so yeah, here in Sarai High School, you have to wake up like 6 or 7, right? It's too, too early. And how was uh, adjusting to like English and... Uh, yeah, so young people speak like really fast, right? Uh, yes. But old people speak like, I am very, right? Yeah. So I can listen to English by... Uh, older people but sometimes young people I can't catch young people's English. So it's easier to hear the to pay, like pay attention and understand older people but yeah. It's a lot faster for newer people. Yeah. So I have a question. Yeah. Okay. Um what is the purpose of your life? Oh well, I don't know. Oh you don't know? No not really. Have, have you ever thought about it? Not really. Oh uh, so do you have something like dream? or anything? Not really yet. Uh, do you have like hobbies? Mm, I, I work outside school, that's pretty much it. Uh, what do you do right, in your free time or when you have time? Um, I like to draw. Oh really? Right, a little bit. Oh. Um, 
supposed to just either sit on my phone or <laughs> go to work. Oh, yeah. What kind of drawing? It's really anything. I don't know. Oh, right. With type. pen and just yeah. draw. Not, not like a painting, just no. drawing. Ah. In Japan, is that a lot, a lot bigger of a thing, like uh, knowing what you're going to do with your future? Yeah, so yeah, I have my dreams, dream, yeah, right, vision, yeah, so I'm planning for it. Yeah. This is a lot more of a cultural and whatnot standpoint. No, yeah, I'm just, yeah, yeah, now it's just time to prepare for the future. Yeah, we, we get, like, kids can get free food, free house, so yeah. So that's a lot different how kids are a lot more saw looked after in Japan than the US. Mm. Yes. Um, They're I'm, a little more like cared for than yeah, um, how it's... Some, some parents in Japan don't really care about the, their kids. Like they just, sometimes they pay for it, but they don't really care. But in, in America, I think most of the parents uh, really care for the for the kids, so I think that's kind of different. 